It's 45 past the hour. A lot going on there. The Senate is moving forward with Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson's nomination to the Supreme Court in a 53 to 47 vote. The full Senate voted to discharge her nomination out of the Judiciary Committee. At least three Republican senators have now publicly stated they will vote in favor of her final confirmation. That includes Senator Mitt Romney, who voted against Judge Jackson when she was confirmed to the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals and Senator Lisa Murkowski, who admitted her decision could hurt her politically. Everybody else is thinking about is, you know, how does this play? How does this play? Um, in fairness, I assume I, I have assumed a, a level of risk in doing this because uh, it is is uh, is a position that. Um, that my conference has not taken. But you do, you take that risk. And, and that's just the way it is. You know, it's a shame that's the way it is. It used to be that uh, Supreme Court justices uh, would get 90 votes. I, I, uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg got 90, 91, 92, 93. I remember back when Barack Obama was running for president, wanted to support John Roberts, and David yeah. Axelrod said, you can't do it. If you vote for John Roberts, mm -hmm. then everything he does on the court will follow you around to the campaign trail. And that's just sort of, unfortunately, where things have gone yeah. uh, for, for some time, which you would hope that we could someday get back to the point where if somebody's elected president, whether they're Democrats or Republicans, you know what? Let them have their say. If somebody's wildly, wildly right. out of the mainstream or unqualified, fine, have discussions on that. But these justices should be getting 80, 90 votes. And you shouldn't go up there and have people trying to destroy, uh, destroy people the way they seem to do every single time. Well, Judge Jackson's nomination was deadlocked when every Republican in the committee voted against her earlier in the day. I'll vote no. I'm the first first time I've ever voted against any Supreme Court nominee. After four days of hearing I, hearings, I now know why the left likes her so much. If Judge Jackson is confirmed, I believe she will prove to be the most extreme and the furthest left justice ever to serve on the United States Supreme Court. Judge Jackson is beholden to the radical left that is teaching our children that they can choose their own sex. Let me just say for the record, sex crimes against children are not fiction. Judge Jackson will coddle criminals and terrorists. Lord, Sweet Jesus. I mean, come on. Sweet Jesus, what? deliver us from this it's idiocy. Just... Okay, Democrats on the committee defended Judge Jackson against the Republican attacks. How? How qualified do you have to be, double Harvard? How qualified do you have to be clerking at all levels of, of, of the federal judiciary? They even suggested that Judge Jackson, a mother to two wonderful daughters, quote, endangers children. Judge Jackson is a better person than me. I know that's going to fall on deaf ears with some members of this committee. Members who unfortunately cared more about seeing their sound bites on social media. Exactly. And so they can set themselves up uh, to try to run for president. The final it's full silly. Senate vote is likely to be held this Friday. Let's bring in right now MSNBC legal analyst Charles Coleman. Charles, I, why don't we? If we have to focus on one Republican, why don't we focus on Lindsay? Because mm. Lindsay voted for her, like, what, a year Ten ago? Months. Sure. Ten, Ten months, months ago. Sure. Ten months ago. Suddenly. What happened? Suddenly. She is just too radical. Right. How do you vote for what somebody ten months ago to take one of the most important positions in the federal judiciary? Well, and then ten months later, something must this have nonsense. And something must have she happened. She got really exactly. radical what in ten happened? months. You know, this is such an indicative space around where we are with respect to our current conversation around politics and where they have no place. And as you already talked about, there has been a history where Supreme Court uh, appointees have gotten as many as 90 votes, 90 plus votes. And in this case, there's no reason that this woman, this incredibly brilliant and qualified judge, should not be receiving a much, much larger amount of support from all of the U.S. senators. And when it comes to Lindsey Graham, there can be very little argument that he probably demonstrates the most hypocritic and, and, and just great level of, of 
of ridiculous contradiction in the fact that just a year ago, this was an incredibly qualified judge right. in order to ascend to the federal circuit, and now all of a sudden you're worried about an activist judge? This right. is this is this is nothing but political grandstanding, and everyone seems to know it. But it seems like everyone is simply okay with it. It's, got, it's gotten so harsh, and you know we were uh, a lot of our viewers didn't like it at the time. But when Brett Kavanaugh was up, and suddenly we were talking about rape rooms in Washington D.C. high school parties. Mm -hmm. I mean, you grew up in the suburbs of Washington D.C. Were there rape rooms? Like you know, Michael mm -hmm. Abenacci goes, no, but if a girl okay. was kissed okay. by somebody else would come home and laugh at no we need to bring this up and then there were stories in the New Yorker saying oh somebody may remember did he, he kiss me or not or did he reach out like this madness on both sides and Republicans will he said oh because Brett Kavanaugh was treated so badly we're going to show more grace and oh so you suggest that yeah. she coddles pedophiles yeah. is that the way That's the Republican restrained. Party right. restrains himself mm -hmm. by accusing her of being a friend of pedophiles and other Republicans accusing anybody who supports her nomination as being pro pedophilia. Does it really sound like Republicans r really have, have distinguished themselves much from Michael Avenatti and the people that created the circus around Brett Kavanaugh? And let's Hey, thanks so much for watching our YouTube channel. You can follow up on today's top stories and breaking news or catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.